Welcome. Today's lesson is going to be on the Munsell so uh, soil color chart and how to read it and what is the difference between hue, value, and chroma. Well, uh, when we uh, start talking about soil color and some of the properties, I'd like to talk just about very quickly about three very important things. Drainage, organic matter, and also the degree of weathering really impacts the color of soil. Uh, whether it be its constant contact with, with water, that brings out a certain change. Typically we're talking about soils that are, that are waterlogged and been lacking, obviously, oxygen. Whereas organic matter will, will bring about a certain amount of nutrients. It also introduces black and brown to the equation. And again, the degree of weathering uh, helps also bring in some other colors, such as the, the reds and the yellows. So um, those are the three things that, that really d definitely impact the color of soil. Now, how do we measure that? Well, um, there's first of all what we call hue. When we talk about colors, we first of all talk about the hue. The hue is its basic color, whether it be blue, um, red, uh, green, yellow, or, or purple, but they have just some basic color. So the hue we can, we can just narrow down to an actual color. The second component of color is its value. Is it light or is it dark? I know that's kind of a simplistic term, uh, but, it, but it does help explain some of those. If, if you go to the right or the left of, of the chart, you'll notice in this little chart that I have, the one on the far left, as you're viewing it, is lighter in color, a lighter red. And as you move up, it gets darker and darker. So value has to do with how light it is or how dark it is. Now, we could always say that we've identified the hue and how light or dark it is, and we can say, well, that's good, right? Well, no. Um, chroma is the color intensity. Again, on this chart, if you notice, this one is kind of a pale. It's not very, it's not very strong or it's considered weak in yellow. As we move to the right, you can see it's much more strong in its color. The intensity, the pigments within it uh, are packed uh, a little bit more tighter in that small space. So chroma is about intensity. And how we kind of fit that, fit this on the chart is the hue is always in the upper right-hand corner. For instance, on this one, it's uh, 5Y. That means it's yellow. And then 10Y is yellow-red. Uh, we don't talk, call it orange. It's not a combination. It's very yellow and then red, which introduces. And the, the other one is 10R. So, and then, uh, of course, you can see the names of them on the bottom. Now, each of those color chips also represent other things. For instance, if you look at 10R, you'll notice much more red uh, coloration, more oxides and in, in possibly in that color of the soil. And then what we have is if you take a look, we have the value. The value is located typically on the left side of the card, and it goes from 8, which is actually the lightest color, all the way to the darkest color. So we start at, at the high side, uh, have a value of 8, that's typically on the whitish side, and then on the blackish side, 1.7 is uh, on the low side of value. Now let's take a look at this slide. This slide is a measure of a chroma. It's located on the bottom portion of this card. It says chroma. As you can see, if an eight chroma is much more intense in its in its uh, a yellow red versus uh, over here at the one where it's more weak. So it's not as as much um, as as much intensity of color. If you go f uh, farther to the right, it's it's more intense. So let's take a look at how to actually use it. So we're going to kind of stop right here. We're going to go and look at a book and actually uh, determine a color of, of a pad or a soil sample. All right, we're going to take a look at the Munsell soil color chart. And if you uh, take a look at it, it's broken into three parts. Right across the top here, this is 10YR. And if we flip through the book, we'll find like 2.5Y. Uh, and 5Y, and if we go forward, you'll fi find 7.5Y. So these are the, the hues, the colors, the basic colors that uh, A.H. Munzel set out on these, these uh, uh, paint chips, or color chips. And then if you'll notice at the top, that's, that's what the hue is. If you look on the side, 
And if we're going to kind of, there we go. That's the value. That really means the uh, light or darkness of it. And then if we go to the bottom, that's the chroma, the intensity. So those three things, we're going to try to match them up and see if we can come up with a color that we can call it kind of a, a, a kind of a layman's term for the color of soil. So let's do that. All right, I have this PED or this soil sample right here. And this is one of the, uh, the areas that we've been working with. And uh, this, these colors seem to be a little light to me. This is way too light. So I want to get down in the darker spectrum. And that's too dark. And these four look pretty good. So if we look at these two here, they still on the, on, I think on the light side, so we're going to go a little uh, further down to get some dark ones. And if I compare those two, I, I think this one is the better match. So that one is a little bit better match, I think. So I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to call it that. So if we take a look, it's 10YR at the top. Get it closer again. 10YR, that's the color. Then if we look at the value, and we look right across from here, that's a 4. And this color right here, I think matches up fairly well, and that would be a 3. So it's 10YR, 4, and 3. I want you to remember the 4, 3 primarily because... If we look on the opposite side of this page, these actually have the colors. So instead of saying 10YR43, you can actually give it a color name. So when we look on these, and if we look in this section right here, it says 534333. That's in our range. It goes from a brown to a dark brown. So the 43. I think that's going to be our color, that's going to be brown. So when you're doing this analysis, the 10YR 4 and 3 is going to be referred to as a brown. So if you're doing soil reports or soil series evaluations, that's what you call brown. All right, thanks.